Good morning and welcome to day 10 of my cross-country road trip in my vintage DIY electric van. Last night we crossed the border from Texas to Arkansas and I'm pretty happy. We are halfway through and we're on track. We're actually on track to get back to Raya and my family for Christmas. I'm so happy. We've been staying in RV parks. We have almost got a full charge and I'm about to make some breakfast. So yesterday we traveled the most distance we have yet at 247 miles. And our grand total right now is 1,713 of 3,000 miles. So yeah, we're slightly ahead of schedule. I've just had a shower. I'm gonna make some cereal and brew a coffee and then we're gonna hit the road. Warm, fluffy socks. pink mold on my avocado. I don't think that's a good sign. Okay. Wow, 61 kilowatt hours in eight hours, 20 minutes. I'm just gonna check all the tire pressures again just to make sure that we're not leaking any air. Okay, I found a electric charger in the middle of Little Rock. I'm gonna park up there and then we'll figure out the nearest kind of available vegan food. Having that slight more inflation in the tires is noticeably better. It just feels like I'm driving smoother. I found some other gloves I have which allow me to use the phone. So they have a little special pad on the finger. Doing a little detour. Still got 34 miles until uh, we get to Little Rock. Two things I've noticed. One, my toes, even though I've got thick like ski socks on and my boots, my toes are freezing. I'm not sure what to do. I, I guess there's a lot of cold drafts coming in underneath. So I could try and put like a blanket or something around, the, around where my feet are, like the footwell. I also might try and find some extra warm socks and maybe try and put a couple of pairs on. So that's one of my missions for today. Secondly, something I've noticed, I do think there's a slight reduced range in the batteries due to the cold. And it hasn't even got that cold yet. It's probably, I'd guess like coldest, like five degrees Celsius right now. But we're going up to New York where the other day apparently it was minus seven. So, we might start having to do shorter legs in between the charges, but I'll keep you posted on, uh, on the range. I think I'm gonna change my plan. It's 4.30. It looks like, yeah, sunsets at five, because I guess we're heading further and further north, even though it's getting later, it's getting darker earlier. So we've only got 30 minutes more of daylight. Then if I was to do what I normally do and stop off for seven hours to charge, we wouldn't be heading out until, you know, midnight. And there will be another repeat of last night where I do another three hour drive, get in late. And that's kind of really pushing as far as I can, as fast as I can. But I've just found right in the center of Little Rock, there's an urban RV park. I'm gonna call them now, see if there's availability. Oh, battery's looking pretty low. We are turning off now into Little Rock. Oh, it's cold. It feels really cold. Woo! These roads, these roads are bad. Woo! Sorry, Kelly. <laughs> She's like, what the heck is going on? You, you, you just stay down there. I want to be optimistic about being able to turn this RV park, but I also have just got just a slight inkling that they might not be open for after hours arrivals. <laughs> Alright, 
right. This feels a little bit industrial, this side of the town. There is a gate here, but maybe we can go back. Oh, here we go, RV Park. RV Park. Oh, this is looking hopeful. This is looking hopeful. Let's see if anyone's in the office. There's a deed here. Last name? Cole, C-O-L-E. First name? Louis, L-O-U-I-S. That's it. Thank you so much. All right. What was Thank your name? You. Jackie. Jackie, good to meet you. Good to meet you. Have a great evening. Yes, sir, be safe. Thank you. Very, very exciting news. Not only did they have a spot, they had a scenic spot available on the river. So I decided, why not? We're only in Little Rock for the evening. So I'm gonna park up right on the river. Oh, this is cool. This is very cool. This is definitely the winner so far. Callie, look at this spot we have. How cool is this? Wow. Okay, let's plug in. I absolutely love the Christmas colors on the bridge. Super cool. I think I'm gonna have some snacks, warm up a little bit, and then um, make a plan for dinner, I think. Might even be able to bang out another edit tonight, that'd be cool. Right, I ordered some food on Uber Eats. So I'm boarding to the front gate to pick it up. It's very handy having this backfire board, it's so good. Walk through gate. I don't know how to open the gate. Will it fit through here or not? I think it will. Okay. Yeah, it will. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yep, you have a great night. Have a great night. That was fantastic. Oh man, look at this view. This is so sick. I've set up my oil heater. Up until now, I've only been using my little fan heater, but I feel like this might be a better bet for just keeping the van hot all night. I think it's more efficient as well with power. When it gets to like freezing outside, and like I've said before, there's zero insulation in here. I think I might even have to have both of them running. It's actually really nice and toasty, and I've got it on the lowest heat setting. For dinner tonight, I got a chana masala and rice garlic naan and onion bhajis. Check that out. Ooh. If any of you live in Little Rock, Arkansas or are passing through, I would highly recommend Star of India restaurant. It's legit Indian food. Very, very good. It's rare that I find good Indian food in the US, but this, this is so good. Check it out. Garlic naan, onion bhajis, chana masala. Oh. I'd originally planned to go out and explore Little Rock tonight. Then I just got takeout food and edited and it's now 2 a.m. And I think Callie's a bit annoyed that we haven't gone to bed yet. I feel like I need to slow down the pace a little bit without jeopardizing the deadline of getting to New York, but it's just been relentless. I kind of feel like part of me wants to keep plowing on as get as far as possible. And then part of me just wants to slow down a little bit because it's it's just rushing by. But I can't wait to see Raya. I cannot wait for Christmas. It's, it's such a, a beautiful end to the trip. I am enjoying this trip a lot, but I'm gonna also enjoy to get there, celebrate Christmas. By the way, this oil heater has been working a treat, so I'm gonna leave that running tonight. I actually don't even need to have the fan heater on with that on its lowest settings. It pumps heat into the into the van. I'm gonna work a little bit more and then head to bed. I really have no idea what the next few days are gonna hold. Although I have just confirmed I'm gonna be meeting up with Kara and Nate in like two or three days time. We're gonna spend the day together in Nashville in Tennessee. So. I'm really looking forward to seeing some people because I really haven't seen many people for the last 10 days. It's been a much shorter day of travel today. We've only covered 134 miles and that gives us a total of 1,847 of 3,000. So the next few days will probably also be kind of shorter mileage and then if we need to kind of catch up with ourselves, I can just bang a long one like I did yesterday. If you're not subscribed yet, please do subscribe to the channel. Obviously, some of these days have been a bit more dramatic and entertaining than others, but I really appreciate you joining for this unique and fun road trip I'm on. Right, I'll catch you in the morning. Peace.
Good morning. We are in Little Rock in Arkansas and I stayed in this amazing urban RV park right in the city centre on the river. Really, really beautiful. And we had a bit of a chill one yesterday. We did only did 134 miles. So our total right now, we've done 1,847 of the 3,000 mile journey to try and get to Raya and my family for Christmas. It's been quite an adventure trying to get this across the US. Right, I just need to dump this rubbish. I was supposed to leave this RV park like two and a half hours ago and they've been very patient and kind, but they're now saying, come on, like, you need to leave, you only paid for one night. But their Wi-Fi is so good and I've almost got my vlog uploaded. So I'm trying to be super cheeky, it probably is bad of me. But I'm just kind of waiting in the parking lot at the front and she's already come over and said, clear out. But I'm like, please give me 30 more minutes. But I need a little bit longer than that to upload. So hopefully she won't come and tell me off again, but I'm just gonna wait here till I'm uploaded, go live and then I'm gonna hit the road. I also did want to explore a bit of Little Rock City but if we do that now, I won't really be able to explore Memphis. So that's the plan. I'm going to head to Memphis, have a little look around, hopefully get to explore before the sun sets. And yeah, going to another state, Tennessee. Downtown Riverside RV Park. Thank you for letting me be a bit cheeky and stay a few extra hours. Okay, Kelly, get under there. What are you doing? Kelly, get under there. I'm sure I've said this, but the time frame in which I've ambitiously attempted this trip does reduce the amount of sightseeing I can do, unfortunately. But I get a bit of a flavour, a little bit of a flavour of where we are. Yesterday I was explaining that although I've got ski socks on and boots, my toes are just frozen and that probably there's a lot of cold air just rushing in little gaps at the front. So I need to come up with a solution. I'll try and remedy that when we get to Memphis. I found yesterday I was not paying attention and would creep up to like 60 miles an hour and then have to be like, oh, slow back down to 50. But it, it really does zap the mileage. So I'm going to try and be very strict on the 50 today. <laughs> I was just chatting to Raya and she was saying, the fact that it's 10 degrees here and I'm freezing means that I'm just not ready for New York. Where she is right now, it's minus two degrees outside in the day. That's too cold, that's too cold. Okay, we've got 45 minutes left. I feel like these drives are just getting colder and colder. I'm wrapped up pretty warm, but it's kind of just cutting through. I might have to level it up even more. I've got my full ski outfit with my salopettes and Arctic jacket. Maybe I'll have to pull those out tomorrow. I'm also trying to think if there's easier ways to heat up inside here. I could try and link the oil heater, have it in the front here, run it off the uh, portable battery pack. Originally, I'd wanted to run the heater from the inverter, but after that third day when like the fuse went, the 12 volt battery stopped charging, I'm a little bit cautious. So we've just left Arkansas, we just entered Tennessee and we're in Memphis. Memphis, Tennessee. I'm cutting it pretty fine. My battery's low very low and I'm really hoping we find a charger. I haven't actually used a charger like this for a few days. I've just been staying in the RV park. My main concern is like heating the van whilst we're waiting because it's so cold now. I don't know how we're going to keep the van warm in the RV park so we can plug in the heater and stuff like that but whilst I'm just sitting here waiting by the charger I don't know what we're going to do. The other worry is a lot of the charges I'm seeing are inside these uh, multi-storey parking lots and I'm not entirely sure, firstly, if they're open, secondly, if I can fit under, Ooh. because obviously the height of the van. So I guess we'll just see attempt number one. Oh, bloody hell. Okay. Uh, okay, so that one looks like that whole parking lot's being de demolished. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is where it's telling me it's inside. Huh. 
That's not good. That's not good. Right. Oh my gosh. Um, okay. Okay, it says there's one coming up here. Okay, let's follow, let's follow directions to this one to see if this is any better. Uh, I don't know about this. Really? Oh, cool. <laughs> Check this tram out. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, that's cool. These trams. Okay, yeah, multi story parking lot. Oh, there's one up ahead. Looks like there's one inside that parking lot. Huh, it might be able to fit in there. Clear it's eight feet 10. How do I know how high this is? I should probably know the height of my vehicle. Eight feet 10. I think just over eight feet. I think just over eight feet safe. So this parking lot says eight foot 10. The other thing to check is, is there an electric charger in here? This is kind of stupid, look. This is seven foot and this side seven foot. So only the entrance is eight foot 10, but then as soon as you want to go anywhere, it's seven foot, so I'm not going to fit. I'm not sure what to do at this point. It looks like all of the city center ones are inside garages. Why isn't there more information? Like no one's left reviews, there's no pictures. I'm in a bit of a conundrum. I thought I could just wing it, arrive, look for a charger. If I couldn't find one, I'll just find another one nearby. Because the beginning of the trip when I was like on the West Coast and into Arizona and stuff, there's, it's just like much bigger, wider open spaces and all of the chargers are just outside. Obviously we're in a different part of the country now. And especially this city, it's all inside these parking lots. I can't just drive around and try things. I need to be very careful with where I try and go to. This also makes me feel like I should just stick to RV parks from now on because they're very predictable and consistent. They're not gonna be like broken or inside a multi-story car park I can't access. So. Okay, no, this looks good, this looks good. Seven foot nine inches. Oh no. I don't think that could be seven foot nine inches. Why would it tell me there? That's, that's too... Well, should we try it? I'm pretty sure this isn't going to fit. But, there's an electric charger. Okay. I've got under the 7 foot 9 inches. Oh man. Oh, I'm touching. It is touching. Right, it's touching and potentially damaged the, the roof there, so. What am I gonna do? Right, I'm not sure entirely what to do, but this is gonna probably make a breaking noise, I think. So, I think I'm fitting. Electric vehicle charging station in garage. The security lady said it is 24 hours. Oh no, I think it's gonna hit that. Okay, we oh, 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 I hit the little metal gate. <laughs> oh no. I hit the metal gate. Leave in. What is that see? Oh, cool. This is it. This is so weird. This, this is going to be a miracle. Okay, you've got to see this. You've got to see where we are. This is wild. <laughs> how, how is this real? How is this real? No way. No way. Is this actually working? I'm charging at full power. We're in this random parking lot where I basically, the van doesn't even fit. I've hit the ceiling twice. This is wild. How are you doing, Kelly? How are you doing? We need to get your little coat on or something, I think. I am gonna load my bag up with all my valuables, just in case, and head out to dinner. I'm gonna bring Callie with me. I think we'll just chill, maybe explore Memphis a little bit. And then I don't know what I'm gonna do after that, but maybe I could stay here. If it's 24 hour access, maybe I could get a full charge and then head off late night to an RV park, or maybe I could do a sneaky sleep in here. And 
and then uh, leave first thing in the morning. I don't know yet. We'll figure it out. Come on. Majestic girl. This looks a bit fancy. They might not let me in. This looks way too fancy. They do things differently in Memphis. I ordered a side of onion rings. Check this out. These are like donuts. What the heck? So I have a veggie burger with fries. I got a little side of broccoli and then the biggest plate of onion rings you could ever imagine. Mm. Mm -hmm. That was a delicious meal. Look at this, it's actually Christmas. It's freaking Christmas time, it's just so nice. Callie, look at, look at this amazing Christmas tree. This is my style of Christmas tree, look how colorful it is. I don't really know where I'm going, but I'm just gonna kind of stroll around and let uh, Callie exhaust herself. So I'm on this street called Beale Street in Memphis and uh, I feel like this is the happening street. Obviously it's a Monday night so it's not like it's the weekend or anything but there's like live music in almost all of these bars. She has got the zoomies. Whoa, Kelly! Where are you going? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh my gosh, I just took her jacket off and she's going even more zoomy. How are you running so fast? She's a little nutter. There you are. What are you doing? There's something nice about walking a dog because it means that you're a bit more present, you're taking time out, obviously the health benefits of going for a walk yourself. Just, yeah, having more headspace, getting outside, and also, it's warmed me up a bit. I feel a lot warmer, especially my toes. So I've booked an RV park for halfway between here and Nashville, where I'm gonna be meeting Kara and Nate tomorrow night. No, Kelly, Kelly. I'm back in the van. Kelly's all wiped out snuggled up after her running around. I've just made myself a coffee because I'm gonna try and pour a few hours of editing now. It is one in the morning. I'm pretty much charged. I'm like 90% charged, which should get me to the RV park, which is 113 miles away. My only slight problem is I've misplaced the keys. Now, I must have had them when I arrived back to unlock but then I think I've dropped them inside the van somewhere and the van is a complete mess. So it might take me a while to find it. Literally it could have dropped anywhere, like in this box, like down underneath things, anywhere on the bed. Could be in the front somewhere. Oh man. Next quick mission before I head off is trying to insulate the footwell because I feel like there's so much cold air coming in. There must be a way to like pad it, so without obstructing the pedals, I'm gonna try and put my sleeping bag on it. This could be a game changer. Check it out, sleeping bag. Somehow I've broken my iPhone cable and my mic. How the heck? I think this sleeping bag down here is gonna be an absolute game changer. Jack's messaged me today and asked where I was and I said uh, Memphis. And he said, Memphis is one of the most dangerous cities in America, which is pretty crazy. And I walked around tonight and it didn't feel dangerous, but I'm, you know, maybe statistically. And also maybe there's like certain areas, maybe it's gang related, but uh, yeah, feels like a lovely, lovely city. miles away and quite a lot of uphill more than I was expecting so the battery is going down a little bit faster than I'd hoped and it's cold so I do think the cold's been affecting the battery 
I'm gonna stick to 40 miles an hour. As long as we don't have any steep uphills now, should be okay. We're three miles away and the battery's looking pretty low. Well, I guess the trucks don't like me driving at 30 miles an hour. We are incredibly low. I've basically run out. Um, but great thing is we're turning off in 0.3 miles. Question is, can we get to the RV park? Less than two miles away to the RV park. We're like literally like 1% battery. This is wild. Oh man. Yeah, I don't think I could have um, cut this any tighter. 1.1 mile and we are out of battery. Keep it nice and slow. Can we make it? So apparently there's like a, a note for me. Oh, it is quarter past four in the morning. All right, let me work out the mileage. It's six degrees outside. It is one of the coldest nights. It, it's incredibly cold, but thankfully got the two heaters running and about to snuggle up with Kelly. Today we did 244 miles, pretty good. And overall now, we've done 2,097 miles since the beginning. So we are two thirds of the way there. And uh, I think we're, we're pretty on track. It did worry me a little bit tonight running out of battery because we only did like 111 miles. So it's making me think the cold is definitely affecting the batteries. Uh, and it's only gonna get colder and colder and colder. Raya said it's gonna be like minus nine in New York in the next couple of days. So we could run into some serious problems with range. Anyway, if you wanna find out what happens, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.